Editor William Vogel, who was at the briefing. Vuya, very good afternoon to you. Thanks again for joining us. Now, we know Tulima Donzela has been making headlines with regards to the Nkanda report, but today she was focusing on other aspects that she's been investigating uh, fisheries, uh, communications, as well as education. What did she have to say? Well, yes, indeed, the focus was elsewhere today. First was uh, the report um, on, on the education, uh, the provision of workbooks uh, for kids in the Eastern Cape. For two consecutive years, um, 2012 and 2013, um, students, their pupils did not get their workbooks, or if they did get them or where they got them, they got them very late. So um, her, hers was to make a determination as to whether the Minister of Education was in fact responsible for that mess. And her finding is that the Minister was not responsible in terms of the rules and regulations and everything that goes with that. It is the Department of Education's Director General, the Director General of the Department of Education, who is currently on leave, Mr. Subrian, is the one who should have ensured that uh, those workbooks do get to those children and get there on time. Uh, that responsibility also falls squarely on the HOD of the Provincial Department of Education uh, and this time being the Eastern Cape. He found that both uh, gentlemen actually did not do their jobs as they were expected to and her recommendation is that uh, something needs to be done. The Minister should do something about um, the, the, the Department of Education's uh, DG, Mr. Subrian, uh, as well as Something needs to be done around the HOD of uh, uh, education in the Eastern Cape. As to what it is exactly that needs to be done, she has left that to the political principles of the two departments to actually make that determination. So that, in a nutshell, is what happened with regard to that, uh, the workbooks in uh, the education workbook for our pupils in the Eastern Cape. Of course, um, the big issue also was that of the former communications minister, Dina uh, a lot was found there. Well, uh, she, she was quite scathing, actually, about the minister. She started the briefing by going back to, I'm sure a lot of people will recall that incident where Mr. Ndaweni Matlangu, the former premier of Mpumalanga, was found to have said that it was okay uh, um, to lie. Something the first public protector, uh, Selby Bagwa, found issue with and actually ruled that he was wrong to have said that. And I think the significance of uh, Tulima Donzela going back to that issue on both instances, both on the education department officials, but as well as the, uh, uh, the findings she made on Dinapula was that these people must do the right thing. What is wrong is wrong. What you have, when you have failed the people of South Africa, when they have entrusted you with uh, lots of responsibility, you should do the honorable thing and, res and resign. And her recommendation is that Dinapula should actually resign from parliament. Because even though she lost um, the position of being a cabinet minister, she is still in parliament. And her recommendation is that she has lied and she lied consistently. She was forced to actually admit certain things. Otherwise, she, she right through till the end, she insisted that she had done anything wrong. When in fact, she's found to have misrepresented herself, mi misrepresented the facts. She said uh, to parliament and to the public protector that she was not romantically linked to Mr. Mnubisa, when in fact, all evidence uh, points to the fact that she did have that relationship and that Mr. Mnubisa actually benefited from that relationship by uh, taking on trips overseas which the state paid for through taxpayers' money and her ruling, uh, a public protector's ruling is that she and Mr. Mnubisa must pay back all the monies that the state paid by Mr. Mnubisa benefiting from that relationship uh, with Mr. Mnubisa. So a lot of scathing words, a lot of tough words on both uh, 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 the former minister as well as Mr. Mnubisa. More, mm. of course, we'll bring you the detail of that in our bulletins later in the day and in the evening. Thank you so much, Avuyo. We will indeed, I do understand that there was also um, there's some comments uh, that the public protector had to say about uh, teenager Mark Peterson, uh, the minister there with the Department of uh, Fisheries and Forestries. And we will uh, bring you all that information a little bit later. Do stay with Channel.